America wages all its wars dirty. You simply cannot name a war going back to the very beginning of the Republic that was not waged dirty back in the 19th century, the 20th century, the 21st century. As the years pass by, the dirty wars get dirtier. Post 9-11, they were dirtier than ever, absolutely dirtier than ever. And Iraq absolutely stands out. Besides the Gulf War in 1991, the, the horrific sanctions followed. Uh, they amounted to war never ending. They killed on the order of a million and a half Iraqis. Most of them were very young children, aged five years old or younger. This information was totally suppressed by the U.S. media scandals. The 2003 war, it was horrendous. It never ended. It's going on now. It's low key. It's 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 it's, it's, it's a, a secretive. U.S. forces are still there. But while the war raged from 1993 and for years after, uh, uh, my article addressed two colonels by the name of Steele. Michael was one. James was the other. Michael at combat troop combat corps uh, ground troops. He violated international, constitutional, U.S. statute, and military law. He ordered his troops to kill all military-aged Iraqis on site. All of them. Well, how do you even define that? Is it a 12-year-old? Is it a 60-year-old? Is it an 80-year-old? Essentially, his, his forces under his command. And he told them personally, he ordered them, kill all military-aged Iraqis on site. Well, this violates fundamental laws. The other steel, James, was picked by Donald Rumsfeld, defense secretary at the time. He reported directly to him. He worked with a retired colonel named James Kaufman. He reported directly to David Petraeus. He was in command of U.S. ground, ground forces in Iraq before he became commander in Afghanistan, before he became CIA director, before he was discredited in a so-called sex, sex scandal that had nothing to do with sex. It had a lot to do with his incompetence and things related to it. Anyway, he's out. But Kaufman reported to Petraeus. James Steele reported to Rumsfeld. They ran detention torture centers. They still operate. They're not checked. I don't know who's operating them now. Both steels are gone, but America's mandate was to kill, to torture, to detain, and do so lawlessly, do so against innocent people. They had nothing to do with stoking conflict against anyone. But the war went on. The torture was mandated. In other articles, I wrote about torture, torture memos written for George Bush, George Bush Jr., and those memos still exist. Obama endorsed them. His policies are exactly the same. The same things go on in U.S. torture centers, in Guantanamo, in, in overseas torture centers in various countries around the world. The people responsible for these things were never prosecuted. U.S. law says, U.S. military law says, I quoted from Army, Army, Army Manual 27, it says nobody is absolved from these crimes. Responsibility goes all the way to the top of the chain of command, including the, 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 the commanders in the Pentagon, including the defense secretary, including the vice president, including the president. Was anyone prosecuted? Was anyone held accountable? No. No one to this day. They're all culpable, including Obama. Well, I don't know what happened to James Kaufman. James Steele is retired. He was highly decorated for services performed in Iraq. Of course, his services were detaining and torturing. He lives in Texas. He gives motivational speeches. He discusses counterinsurgency operations in conflict areas. He avoided prison where he belongs. So did Kaufman, Petraeus, and others all the way up the chain of command to the top.